Hey guys, before the video starts, just wanted to let you know that if you use the discount code 2019LUKEC on Truckfest's website, you will get 15% off your tickets. Uh, and I am going to the Peterborough show on the 5th and 6th of May and the Shepton Mallet show on the 31st of August and the 1st of September. So go to www.truckfest.co.uk, book your tickets, use my name, get 15% off. See you there. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are in Build Base in Basingstoke and uh, got here at 20 past seven and um, was told that they don't take lorries until eight o'clock. So unfortunately we are just waiting. Uh, the time now is, what is the time? I don't know what the time is. <laughs> my watch has run out of battery. I've been out all week. So my watch has run out of battery. Uh, the time is 10 to 8 currently. So um, let me see if I can just show you. There we go. So we're kind of parked up at the moment on a bend and we've got to wait for uh, the van to move over there and also the, the build base truck to move as well. Once he moves, we can, uh, we can get on in. But the problem is um, there's a truck behind us as well. So we can't, he can't go anywhere until we've actually moved. So we're just uh, we're just chilling. This is an angle that you don't really see much, do you, on my vlogs? This is me sat on my bed. I'm hoping I'm going to be told I can come in in a sec, but I don't think so. It's not looking likely. Oh, hello, bud. Right, get me on in then. All right, mate. No worries. There we go, so I'll be on in in a second. So there is stuff I need to do to the truck because um, as you're well aware, Truck Fest is, well, you might not be well aware. Truck, I think they're talking about me. <laughs> truck Fest is on the 5th and 6th of May, which as of time of recording is in eight days time. So um, I do have some stuff I need to get ready to the truck. I got to put my seat covers on still because they still haven't been put on yet. Um, I can put up, well, I've got them to put them on, but I'm struggling to put them on. They're quite hard. Um, and yeah, I also need to give the truck a little bit of a clean. It definitely needs a dust. I don't know if you can tell on here, but it's quite dusty. The place we're operating out of uh, is Mortimer. And uh, it is a proper, proper, proper dusty site. So um, yeah, it doesn't matter how many times you clean your truck, you've got to re-clean it all the time which is a little bit annoying. I've literally cleaned this truck, like dust it down. I've got a whole box full of microfiber cloths and uh, yeah, I'm literally cleaning inside the truck twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. So, um, never mind. This window over here, wing mirror rather, needs a bit of a clean. So let me clean that quickly. And then, uh, the lorry that was in our way is now moved, but there's a van in the way, so we've got to wait for the van to move before we do any more maneuvering. Let me just see if I can show you. Yeah, so there we go, look, so the, the lorry is now moved, but the van hasn't, so we need to wait for that van to move as well before we head on over. But we're just giving my windows a bit of a clean because it's quite sunny out today and if the sun catches the wing mirror a little bit oddly, let's say, then it really emphasises the dirt that's on it. So let's give it a good old clean, that one as well. Brilliant. So it looks like that van driver's now moving. Yeah, so let's uh, get into the driving position. Ready? <laughs> right, they're ready for us. So let's put my boots back on. 
getting ready to go. I've already undone the sides on the back of the trailer. So it's just the front of the trailer I've got to do, but you can't do that until you've actually parked up in, into position because if you move with the front sides down, it catches against the front of the cab and then you cause damage. I'm hoping for a quick tip because we've got other stuff that he's doing today. We've got to come back to Basingstoke. I don't know whether we're going to Travis Perkins or Jushin, so it's going to be one of them in Basingstoke. And then we've got to do a run to Newbury as well. Come then. While I'm here, big uh, shout out to ASCO. They've sent me this dash cam for free and uh, they want me to do a review on it. So a review is coming. I haven't opened it up yet. It's still in its seal. Um, just waiting for the time to do it. Right, he wants me to come now with that van there. Oh, the van's moving now. I think that was more of a beat to tell the van to move. That's all right, is it? Let me just straighten up a bit. Excellent. Right, let's go and get this off loaded and then we can uh, crack on with the day because like I said, I want to finish. Well, I want to finish early, but it's not going to happen, but I want to finish as early as possible. Right, let's go. <laughs> We got there at 20 past seven. It's now oh, just gone half past eight. So com considering they didn't start until eight o'clock, not too bad actually. Go, 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 go. I can't stop here because the plates on the road. If I go backwards, we'll pop my tires. <laughs> so yeah, we're on our way back to Mortimer now to get loaded. Now we're supposed to be doing another Basingstoke as I mentioned earlier, but I had a phone call um, from Southampton who are sort of in charge if you like of uh, all the other branches and the drivers and what they do and stuff like that and they've asked me if instead of doing another Basingstoke and then my Newbury can I do a Halesmere and then the Newbury um, and I said not being funny but it's pushing it, doing another Basingstoke and a Newbury. Let alone a Hailsmere and then a Newbury. So, I don't know what I'm doing, basically. They might give me the Hailsmere, they might keep it as a Basingstoke, I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and find out. Uh, like, I don't mind either way what they do. I'm just trying to help them out. Like, if I do the Hailsmere, it's... <laughs> It takes an hour and a half to get there. So it takes an hour to get offloaded. An hour and a half back, that's a four hour turnaround. Um, let's say I don't leave Mortimer until 10 o'clock, which is very likely. It'd be after 10, I expect, by the time I leave Mortimer. It means I ain't gonna get back until at two o'clock, the earliest. And then um, it leaves me two hours to get loaded and get to Newbury before they shut. But they won't take a delivery after four o'clock on a Friday. So it's pushing it. I'll do the hails me if they want me to, not a problem. But it just might mean that uh, their third one don't get done. I can only do as much as I can do, if that makes sense. I can only drive as fast as, as legally as I can. I've got to have brakes. So um, yeah, whatever, it's up to them. If they want to send me to Hailsmere, they can send me to Hailsmere. 
that don't come running to me when I can't do the new breeze. What I'm trying to say when I've just told them is pushing it. Anyway, <laughs> a little bit of a moan now. I do apologise. I'm getting a bit of a reputation for moaning, I believe. I do not moan! And also, do not listen to Trucker J when he tells you that I've not been polishing my tank because I have been polishing my tank. I just have not been polishing my tank as much as they have. <laughs> we better stop for that, and I? Orange lights, amber. Right, so we're going to head back to Mortimer now. <coughs> Get loaded. Um, and then make our way to wherever we're going. So I'll see you in a bit. So we just arrived at Mortimer. Uh, we are next in line to get loaded. There is a truck in front of me. Um, so once he gets loaded, I'm assuming I will be let in afterwards, but there's a chance that they might get me in at the same time. We'll have to wait and see. So we are going to Basingstoke. You will arrive at your destination at 9.37. And it's 9.09 currently, which means 28 minutes away. So it's really good. It's only half an hour away. So we're not doing the Hailsmere, which is good. Uh, so I'm hoping by the time we leave here, um, what time is it? It's 10 past nine. So I'm assuming we leave here by 10 o'clock, let's say. Um, I can't imagine it being any earlier than that. So we're talking half past 10 before we get to Basingstoke. Now I know Basingstoke is very tight <laughs> and um, they're, they're great lads there, they are. But um, it's not the quickest to get in and out of because there's only literally only room for one lorry. Uh, and it's, yeah, like I said, it's very tight. So if I get there for half past 10, I don't think I'm going to leave there before 12, which means I won't be back here until half past 12, one o'clock-ish, and then leave again at two-ish. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be on my last run until gone two o'clock to Newbury. And then we might even need to get loaded yet for Monday morning. So it could be a late finish tonight. Not ideal, but never mind. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get loaded and then we can crack on. Right, we're loaded. We're having, we are heading rather to, now, I never used to say their name, but I can't be bothered anymore. Go to Charles Perkins. I always used to say, the company I shall not name, but you can see green bags out that window, you might be able to. We're going to Travis Perkins in Basingstoke. Oh, it looks quite dark over there. So we're, um, the company we're working for, doing the bagging for, they're at the bottom, I say bottom, they're at the end of this quarry in Warmer, which is a Hills' quarry. So uh, obviously on my class two work, when I was doing class two tipping work and all that, I used to be in and out of quarries all the time. So it is nice. It's a nice feeling, uh, like coming into quarries. I do miss it. If I could go back to doing tipping work again, I think I would, because I do enjoy, or did enjoy the tipping work. Very, very good. So yeah, bit of a quarry here. I'll let him go. Okay, I did flash yet. I did flash him to let him go, but you obviously weren't looking, so never mind. I'll go. I expect he's turning around to go back down, whereas I'm going straight out. Bit of a bump here. But be careful coming out of here because it's just wide enough for two trucks on the straight bit, but not on the bends. Anyway, I said I reckon I'll be out of here by 10 o'clock. It's 20 to 11. That's exactly why I said there's no chance of doing the Hailsmere. Because if I were going to Hailsmere, I wouldn't be back until like three, four o'clock now here. And I've got to be at my last job by then. So that's why I said there's no chance doing that, and uh, I'm not doing it. So it's nice to see that they listen. This, this road is actually really easy to get out of. It's not a bit busy road at all. Normally you can get straight out. But it's a nice straight road, so you can see from really far away, both sides, which is quite cool. It's straight road, but it's a bumpy road. So, you can't go fast on it, not too fast. Anyway, so yeah, we're heading to uh, Travis Perkins in Basingstoke. Now, I've been there many times before. I get on well with the forklifters there. Uh, there's an, there's a, an older, older chap there who normally unloads me. 
get I'll get on really well with him. Turn, we went to Disneyland uh, at the same time. We didn't know that we went at the same time, but we did. Um, but we didn't see each other, so that's quite cool. When I last spoke to him, I said I went to Disneyland. He goes, "Oh yeah, me too." We stayed in different hotels, so we didn't really see each other that much. But um, yeah, no, I get on quite well with them there. The only problem, like I sort of briefly mentioned earlier, is that it's, it's a very tight yard. And obviously I'm not allowed to film inside the yards, so I won't be able to get that for you, but it, it's very tight. Um, you can only do one side, and then you've got to scoot on over to the other side, do like three or four shunts and get on over, so then do the other side as well. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was the quickest tip. I've been to much, much quicker, but never mind. And then after that, we've got to go to Newbury, as I've mentioned before. But time is getting on. We're not going to get to Basingstoke until 5 past 11. And I expect I won't leave there until gone 12. So probably, let's just say I'll be back here by 1. And uh, if I'm going to be here for two hours, that's 3 o'clock. And I'll be pushing it getting to Newbury for 4. Which means I probably won't get home until half 5, 6. And that's not including having to get night loaded. So... We'll have to cross that bridge literally when we get there, so... Never mind. Right, so let me just get out of here. This road can be busy to get out of. Clear off a bit of white van. It's not just this side you've got to watch out for, it's this side as well, because you do need to go on the other side of the road a little bit just to get out, whereas my trailer will hit the kerb on the left. So I do need it clear both ways, really. Never mind. Anyway! If you don't know where Mortimer is, by the way, it's right next to Kev T. Always has a go at me for this. Older Mason, Alder Mason. It's one of them. <laughs> Every time I talk to him about it, and he always always corrects me, and I always forget which one it is. Either Alder Mason or Alder Mason. And I'm pretty sure when I come here quite a lot uh, in the past, people have picked up on me pronunciation. Ooh, bit of oversteer there. That's because the the mid the mid axle is down, so it's pushing me along even though I'm trying to turn. Not good with the tyres, actually, to be fair. Right, I'm going to crack on. Hopefully we can get this off ASAP and get back before half past 12. Although that is pushing it. All right, see you in a bit. Right, we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Obviously, we literally delivered here earlier to build base. Only this time we're doing it for... Uh, for Travis Perkins. Let's see if we can get past these lights before they actually change to amber. They always got to change just before I get there. <laughs> right, we're going to go left over here. Excellente! Come on then. I, um, I want to get this load off as soon as possible. Because I do have a funny feeling I'm going to have to get night loaded for Monday. Although I've not had confirmation on that yet. But I just, just got the feeling that it is going to happen. Hmm. Oh, so, before I forget, truck fest. I think I've already mentioned it. It's only in nine days' time. So uh, if you are going and you haven't bought your tickets yet, uh, don't forget, if you use my name, you get 15% off the tickets. So go to TruckFest's website, truckfest.co.uk. Uh, when you order your tickets, it'll ask you for a coupon code or a voucher. Just type in 2019, so 2019, 2019, Luke C. That's all you got to put. 2019, Luke C. And that'll give you 15% off your tickets. So um, it's, it's quite, a save, um, quite a valuable save. You will save some money doing that. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Go and do that if you can. Also, I've been, I've been sent loads of free stuff recently, and I need to say thank you to everybody before I forget. So I've already mentioned the dash cam, so ASCO sent me the dash cam, so thank you to them. I want to say thank you to MAN Truck and Bus UK as well, because they sent me a goodie bag with a load of uh, stuff in. I'm talking a lot of stuff. Where the hell am I going to park? They sent me like a, um, a T-shirt, a, a coat, a hoodie, a, a teddy bear, a torch, a truck, a toy truck. Not a real truck, obviously. Although, if you're uh, if you're listening, MAN Truck and Bus UK, a real truck would be nice. <laughs> um, talking of trucks, I can see there's already one in there. 
Are you going to get out the road? No, you're just going to sit there. Stand there, rather. They parked their vans all over the place. So there's a truck already queuing to get in, so I'm going to have to wait here. And they've got their own truck in there as well. Not ideal. They've got two, two vans in there and a truck waiting to get in as well. I can see me being here a while. There's literally nowhere else for me to park other than here. Gonna be here for a while! Sorry. <laughs> literally just said I want a quick tip. Not gonna happen. I uh, don't know if you can see. Do, 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 do. So we've got a truck over there, look. That blue truck. You can't really see, but you've got to go all the way around and there's vans in the way and they've got their own trucks down there and yeah. Ah, it's going to be fun and we're on a roundabout, but it's obviously a very quiet roundabout. So only people going around here are people who are coming to these workplaces, so it should be okay. And I think there's enough clearance at the back for cars to get past. I will go and check before I do walk off just to ensure that there is, because if there isn't, I'll just go forward a little bit more. Ha! Ah. Better go tell them I'm here, I suppose. I suppose, aren't I? So they can tell me that I'm going to be here for ages. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so we're just leaving Travis Perkins now. Don't worry, we're not going around the roundabout the wrong way. We've got to take a nice wide turn to get the trailer out of the yard. There we go. Ah! Like I said, we're there slightly longer than I was expecting, but um, I also... I also didn't expect to be back at Mortimer to get reloaded until one o'clock. Our ETA is 10 past one. So we're kind of on schedule. Well, I say on schedule. We are delayed. And I've also just found out that I do have to go back and get night loaded for Monday, which means I will be on a late finish. So that's not the best news, but never mind, it is what it is. We're just gonna crack on with it and try and get it done as soon as possible safely as possible so I can go in but yeah we've got to go back now to get loaded for that Newbury run and then we'll, uh, we'll have to see what time it is from Newbury it's a Friday so they don't like working late on a Friday either where they get loaded so if I don't get back until gone five then they might not load me basically so we'll just have to wait and see when we uh, but yeah it's been one of those days today where nothing's gone to plan First drop, got there for 20 past seven, straight away. All right, drive, yeah, we don't take deliveries to eight. Okay, whatever, held up. Then it takes ages to get reloaded. Then we get to this place and there's a queue to get in. And uh, I haven't told you that, there was a queue to get out. I couldn't get out just now, I was waiting five minutes. Oh, waiting more than five minutes, I was waiting a good 10 minutes. Because I've got some pallets on me and uh, they wanted me to go sign some paperwork. So I said, all right, whatever. But if you need paperwork signed, I'll go and do it. It took like forever to go get the paperwork signed because the guy didn't know how to print it off. And then on the way out of the yard, there was a van in the way, so I couldn't get out. So, never mind. I actually uh, had to go and find the guy and ask him to move his van. And he said, yeah, right, I'll be there in a minute. And he wasn't, he took another five minutes. But never mind. It's only 10 minutes, not the end of the world. Let's crack on. Right, so we just turned up now to get loaded. I'm hoping there's no queue because I want to get in. There is one truck there, so we'll have to queue up behind them. Yeah. yeah, I do need to go back and get night loaded. And then Monday I'm operating out of Bristol. So I've got four runs planned for Monday, so I ideally need to get night loaded tonight, ready for Monday. Yes. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait behind this truck. And hopefully we'll be in and out by half two. Be there for three, offloaded by four, and hopefully then in Cerny before five, before they shut. By the time I'm loaded and back in the yard, it's gonna be six. 
And by the time I'm home, it's going to be about half six. Oh. Right, we're loaded. Time is 14.04. So it's five past two. And we're leaving to go to Newbury. Got low air right now. It's not too big of a problem, it'll build up on the way out. So yeah, I thought, I thought that out of the two, two Newbury places we go to, that I'd be going to build base. Because Travis Perkins normally have theirs first thing in the morning. But we are actually going to Travis Perkins, so. We'll see what they got to say when I get there, because normally they, they like it at 6 a.m. Not at half past two. No, sorry, no. Quarter three. So, uh, which is our ETA, quarter three. So, see what they say. I'm hoping I can be out there by four o'clock and then in Cerny by five. And assuming no one's gone home, get loaded and in the yard by six. We'll have to see. I have to see. I have found out what I'm doing Monday, so ideally I've got to get night loaded tonight for, for Bath, Monday morning. From Bath, go to Bristol. I do three runs out of Bristol, which include St. Philip's, uh, Bedminster, and then finishing it off with a Winterbourne. And then from there, I don't know where, for what, I'm, what I'm doing from there, it's probably a case of going back to South Sydney again and night loading for Tuesday. But, <clears throat> that's in like three or four days time, so I, ain't, I really ain't too fussed about that right now. Uh, I want to get out of here, that's what I want to do. Clear left, clear right. Beacons off. So yeah, we're going to get going. Make our way to Newbury, get offloaded as quickly as possible. And then uh, head towards Swindon. That's the plan. Anyway, yeah, so a few things I want to say thank you to um, for people. I keep starting and then finishing. So firstly, dash cam, it's in the corner of my eye. ASCO, they've sent me the dash cam. They sent it to me for free, so thank you to them. I need to uh, do a review on that product. Uh, thank you to MAN Truck and Bus UK. They sent me, uh, as mentioned earlier, they sent me a raincoat, which I could probably use right now because it's raining outside. A t-shirt, a beanie, uh, this teddy bear here, which is called Lenny, Lenny the Lion. <laughs> uh, they've also put a torch in it and uh, an MAN truck and uh, some Cadbury's mini Easter eggs, which my girlfriend ate before I even got home to see it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to MAN Truck and Bus. I also need to say thank you to Backline Logistics because they've sent me free tickets to go to uh, Devon Truck Show, which is the weekend after Truck Fest, which is on the 5th and 6th of May. So um, the 6th is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it must be the 11th and 12th of May is the Devon Truck Show. It's in Exeter, I believe. and. Um, I'll be going on one of those days. I won't be there for the whole weekend, just one of the days. Uh, I also need to say thank you to uh, Olight <laughs> because they've sent me this torch and it's a tiny, tiny torch. But trust me, it packs a punch. It's, it's a brilliant torch. I've got a car turned in the left and he's going to struggle because of my trailer. It is a fantastic torch. It is so unbelievably bright. Uh, bright. I'll, uh, I'll give you a demonstration when I'm on a straight bit of road. But basically, that's the minimum that it goes. From the minimum, you got medium, and then you got high, and then you got turbo. And at night, that is proper, proper bright, and you can see uh, really far ahead, uh, uh, like really far away. I'm supposed to do a review on that as well, because um, they gave me a discount code for, for you lot to buy it cheaper but it's about 60 pounds i believe 50 60 pounds it's quite an expensive torch um but it's a great torch fantastic torch what else have i been sent i've been sent a few stuff hmm. 
I think that's it. I think that's all that's been sent at the moment. Unless I've missed something out, but I can't remember. Never mind. Anyway, so um, that's all the stuff I've been sent for free. Don't forget my sponsor, Avail, uh, in the top right hand corner of your screen. You'll see that I've got Avail up in the corner. They are my sponsor, they're my video sponsor. They, they uh, basically, um, they have, uh, they have an app. So I got distracted by something then, something's making a noise. They have, uh, they have an app and they're basically, they're basically an online agency. They find people jobs. Uh, but not only do they find people jobs, they find employers, employees. So it doesn't matter whether you drive a truck or whether you own a business, you can sign up to the Avail app and either look for work or look for drivers. It works both ways. And uh, they're in the sort of development stage at the moment. They are up and running, but um, in sort of the north area, they're in Yorkshire and Manchester, looking to expand it down south. So um, yeah, it's quite an, an exciting prospect and definitely something I think is gonna kick off in the future. Uh, you, won't, you won't need to go into an agency and sign up. You just be able to whack open your phone, go on your app and select the job you want. Uh, or apply for as many jobs as you want rather and then um, get accepted for the jobs and it works like an uber uh, where, whereby you get given like a star rating so the better the driver you are the more efficient the quicker you are you know things like that the more likely you're going to find work more work in the future because of your rating so yes oh god everything's going everywhere i um broke my sunglasses <laughs> There's a, there's a piece missing, and these these were one of my nice pairs. I I can wear them like with just one ear thing on, but not the best. <laughs> they were a good pair of glasses. Anyway, don't doesn't matter. I got more on order, and it, also it's not very really sunny out right now, so don't think I need them. Uh, what else am I going to say? I was going to say some other stuff. I can't remember. Oh. um Yes, so if, you, if you're not aware, um, I've been in contact with um, the Monster Truck Slingshot. Um, go check out their YouTube channel and Facebook page, just type in Slingshot 4x4 Monster Truck, it'll come up. Uh, essentially, Tony and I, um, we're going to meet up at Truckfest Peterborough, which by the way is in nine days time, as I've already mentioned at the time of recording. By the time this goes out, it's going to be the following weekend. Uh, anyway, me and Tony are going to meet up at some point. I'm going to do an interview with him, get, ask him some questions, try and get some behind the scenes footage of the monster truck. Um, should be quite fun actually, I'm looking forward to doing it, to be fair. It'll be a little bit like my uh, American truck vlog, but I doubt I'll actually be driving the monster truck. Very, very doubtful. One of the questions I'm going to have to ask him is, uh, how much does it cost to run? <laughs> because I know the miles per gallon is really rubbish, but I'd like to know how much it costs him to go to... Um, events basically i mean obviously he gets paid to turn up but you know does he lose money make money who knows because i'm sure he does it for for like a not for a profit but because he wants to do it he likes doing it but i'll ask him the question anyway ask him what horsepower it's got top speed all that malarkey pretty sure it can float on water as well most most trucks can i think um what else was there i was going to say something else uh oh yeah um, the Road Legends, we're all going to be meeting up at Sherwell Valley Services on the M40 on the Saturday, um, so which is the 4th, so it should be the 4th of May. Is that Star Wars Day? May the 4th be with you or something. Uh, 4th of May, we're all meeting up at Sherwell Valley Services on the M40 at 9am, and um, we'll be stopping there for an hour for a taco break because we're all driving up in the trucks with our cards in. So we'll be stopping there for an hour, we obviously only need a 45, but be there for an hour and if if anybody is gonna turn up i'm not saying they will but if you want to come and see us there then you can before we go to truck fest um or if you want to get a video or picture of us driving up on the a43 then uh keep an eye out around 10 o'clock because that's where we'll be so if there's any bridges on the a43 going towards peter peterborough then uh i'm sure we'll be going under them <laughs> So yeah, lots of stuff happening in the very near future. Uh, looking forward to it. Getting busy. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, and also, oh, if you don't know, uh, Peter's, getting my words mixed up, at Truckfest Peterborough, uh, Angelica 
uh, Larson will be going as well. So if you don't follow Angelica Larson on Instagram, go check her out. She's got a massive following, massive following. I think it's like well over 100,000 followers. So it's pretty nice. She's going to be there at the Vloggers Village with us. And um, you, you can't, you won't be able to miss us at the Vloggers Village because we've all got flags, like the Road Legends. We've individually all got flags with our logos on, and they're going to be flying sky high. Uh, and we are in, um, we're not just in a little little rubbish old room like we were at Shepton Mallow, we're actually in an exhibition trailer. So there, there's going to be glass panels and all sorts, it's going to be, it's going to be really cool. Really cool. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and go to Newbury. Uh, I've been rambling on a bit too much. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you when, we, uh, well, when we're leaving, I suppose, or just as we arrive, and who knows. See you in a bit. Right guys, we are uh, just leaving now. Is he letting me out? He is. Is it clear this way? It is. Yeah, we're just leaving now. We've got to get to South Sterling before they shut. They shut at five o'clock. Our ETA is. So 20 to five is our ETA. So um, hopefully, as long as we don't get caught up in any traffic, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get loaded tonight. I phoned them up and I said, um, just wondering what time you guys are shutting up today because obviously it's Friday but they don't want to be working late if it was any other day of the week they'd probably stay on a little bit later but it's Friday so I didn't think they were going to stay on after five and uh, yeah they said no five is the latest they said if you're not here by five then uh, you'll have to get loaded tomorrow <laughs> and my boss was in the background and said yeah yeah tell him if he's late don't worry about it he can get loaded tomorrow so uh, I said Tell him I'm not coming in tomorrow. <laughs> right, this road is a bit of a nightmare because they all want to come out and go right, and I want to go right. And uh, no one really wants to give way to anybody. Come on, darling, go on, let's go. bit of a nightmare this is. Seeing as it's hardest for me to get out, that is uh, a bit of a nightmare at that crossroad. But anyway, we're out. Yeah, so we're heading back to Sony. Hopefully we can get there as soon as possible. That 22 ETA has now changed a quarter to five ETA. So it's just lost five minutes already. If we get held up in traffic anywhere, it's gonna really mess us up. So hopefully we don't get held up anywhere. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Right, let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're, uh, we made it to South Sony. We're getting loaded. I'm actually giving the truck a clean as well on the inside because it's proper dusty all over. So, um, yeah, I told them my ETA was 20 to 5. And uh, dead on 20 to 5, they called me and they're like, where are you? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I got held up in traffic. <laughs> uh, I told them I was three minutes away. I was like six minutes away. <laughs> and they said, uh, yeah, well, if you're not here by three minutes, then we're going home and you can get loaded tomorrow. I said that's fine, but I'm not getting loaded tomorrow. Well, I'm not coming in and loading it, it'll be someone else, not me. And they said, yeah, my boss agreed, said that he was going to do it. I said, well, just hold on, I'll be there in three minutes. So I told him. I, was, I actually took five, but never mind. I'm here now, and they are loading me. So that's good. My truck is like proper, 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 proper minion at the moment, because that site that we were at earlier in Mortimer is just really dusty, like really, really dusty. And just seems to go everywhere, man. All over the place. So I'm giving it a good old clean. Good old clean indeed. So yeah, tomorrow um, I will be off, so that's good. Because I did not want to come in tomorrow at all. No sir, no siree. I've still got to put on my seats yet as well. I must remember 
to put my seats on at some point. Let's put you here. When I say seats, I mean seat covers. I've got to put the seat covers on. Ooh, sitting on something. So yeah, I'm literally just giving the whole of the interior good old clean. I've got so much rubbish in here at the moment. I need to sort it all out. Keys, headphones. There's the torch I was talking about earlier. Oh, you're quite high there. Yeah, I need to uh, sort it all out. Oh, I just realised I've not had my lights on. On. There we go. Normally I've got the lights on, haven't I, for the vlogs. Not today, obviously. Not today. Right. Now that's clean. Let's tidy this up. So I put my glasses in there. Torch. Sunglasses. I will need my wallet in a second, so I'm not going to put my wallet away anywhere properly. I can go there, headphones can go there, don't need my keys in a second. Uh, yeah, very messy at the moment. Paperwork that I'll sort out in a bit. Oh, I've missed a bit down there, look. Let's clean that bit up. So yeah, sorry, this bit isn't very interesting. It's literally, literally just me cleaning my truck. <laughs> but it has to be done. Because like I said, it's really, really dusty. Right, so, let's start trying to sort some stuff out. Paperwork, for example. Make it more of a messier than I am actually cleaning it up. Got to keep an eye on um, their progress. Because I need to be ready as soon as they beat their own. I need to be in, in the driver's seat with my shoes on, ready to get out. To be fair, it looks like they're nearly done, so they're not going to be long at all. Well, that's paperwork sorted out. Hello? I was going home. Yeah. The ticket yeah. is on the canteen table. Alright. If there's any amendments, can you just mark it off for me? Yeah, we'll do. And then I'll amend it in the morning. Alright. Alright, no problem. Alright, have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. See you later. Bye, bye. So, yeah, they're going home early. <laughs> Alright, this is clothes. So I need to take all that home with me later. This jacket can now go back up here. I put it on earlier because it was raining. Then you get, let's put that there. It's a bit wobbly when they're loading you. <laughs> um, they're my broken glasses. That's my hard app, which I will need in a second. Rubbish. Ugh. Put the teddies back. So yeah, as I showed you earlier, this is the teddy that MAN got me. So that's very nice of him. This is what I call my gadgets bad bag. Got to put that in there. My GoPros will go in there in a second when I finish recording. That also needs to go home.
Right, so everything on the passenger seat needs to go home. That can stay over there. Like I said, I need that in a sec. Right, so let's take you back a sec. By the way, I do apologise, you've been in an ever so slightly different position today. You've been more sort of central and lower, whereas this is where you normally are. Now we've done all of the tops. Let's do the floor. I've got leather floor mats, so really easy to clean. Let's give it a good old wipe. Like that. Do my fridge. Fridge is really important. I clean my fridge so often because obviously all the dust gets in. I do not want to get into my food. So what I tend to do is uh, I'll clean my fridge before I even open it, just to make sure it's clean. Right, I think that's as good as we're going to get. I haven't done anything at the top, but the dust doesn't really go up there. It's more on the bottom. Anyway, that's like 10 times cleaner than it was out yeah, of do. Right. And it looks like they're nearly done. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. So apologies for being a little bit of a moony vlog. <laughs> It's uh, not been the best of days, but it's over. The week is over. Going to enjoy the weekend. Get back on it again next week. And then, truck fest. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.